Hi everyone, what's up? My name is Chanel and today's video will be another So I'm back with another Shop My Stash Leaky Makeup Basket. I'm going to show you guys everything that I used last week, what I thought of it, and we will be um, choosing some different items to go into this basket. So I do have a little bag here with some of the stuff that I want to talk about. So let's go through that and then we will um, talk about the stuff that's staying in and we will move on to the stuff that I'm putting in. So I did use this Snabla one um, a few times and I was able to make that work. So now I know I can use that. Um, I did use my Dior highlighter and made it work as well. So maybe one day I will pan this because I feel like this one wasn't a, a super... <laughs> oh my god, can I talk? I remember, I remember, oh my god, this was an, ex this was a super, this was super expensive and I would like to project pan that someday, so that highlighter was used, and then we have some eyeshadow palettes, I'll be throwing up all the different eyeshadow looks that I did throughout the week on the screen for your enjoyment, and this is a Charlotte Tilbury quad, this is the Bella Sophia. It's now called something else. I forget what it's called now. But I was able to use that for quick and easy looks. I really loved the more warmer pinky orangey looks that I did with the Charlotte Darling palette. Also by Charlotte Tilbury. And that's what this one looks like. And yeah, those looks were super cool. So I would love to pull that out again, maybe sometime this spring, if not in the summertime. I did use this Tarte blush, super beautiful. Makes you look airbrush, airbrushed and um, like you have a cute flush to your skin. Let's keep the cream um, blush theme going. Glossier Dust, would like to project pan this one someday. Super nice brownie nude color. And then we had our Westman Atelier ones. We had um, Petal and Shushet. Petal is that everyday pink, which I feel like I am leaning more towards um, and use more than I did Shushet. And Shushet is just a nice nudie color. Sorry, all the dogs in the neighborhood are barking at one another right now or something. I do apologize, but the show must go on. It's like midnight and I gotta go to work in a few hours. So I'm trying to get this film so I can edit for you guys tomorrow and um, get it up as soon as possible just because I know Ultis 21 Days of Beauty is coming up and I have some of those products that I already own that will be in the sale as well as like some more green stuff for St. Patty's. So yeah, this is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. This is in the shade Province. It's a nice nude color so that one was nice to use and then we have um, some powder products that i'm going to be putting back we have two mac blushes one is in moba and the other one is in gingerly just nice brownie orangey nude color so glad i was able to use those and then i have an eyeshadow and a lipstick that i want to talk about so for the eyeshadow it's the sephora collection one got some nice use on it um it's just like that soft, glimmery, ethereal pink color. So pretty and effortless. Then we have this lipstick right here by Chanel. Let me take the lid off of it. And it's like this pretty pinky color. Maybe I will revisit this one and use this one again um, soon. But yeah, super pretty color. So nice to have used that. And then I really love this Charlotte Tilbury one. It just makes you look so glossy and nude and pretty on the lips. And it's like a darker nude. I wouldn't say it's like a very light nude. So that's good if you have more like pigmented lips or if you just really enjoy that color, which I do. I enjoy more like clear tone, mauvey, berry, juicy, brownie, nude type color on uh, my lips personally. But... Um, I think that was everything for the stuff that I'm keeping, I mean, uh, putting back. And then I'll show you the stuff that I'm keeping. Keeping my Slim Touchable Wool Glow by e.l.f. in. Super good primer. I wear this pretty much every day. I'm addicted to it. 
you can hear that there's like not a lot in there on the top and then on the bottom there's still product in there but love that i'm giving getting my spf as well as you know my um glue on so yeah that's pretty cool this is the la beige foundation that's in a project pan i've been using this a ton so um obviously keeping and then i've been mixing it in with this uh, chanel one so that's probably going to be a combo that i use and um then there's a few lip products and then we'll get into face and um eyeshadow palettes so for lips i have absolutely been loving this uh, dior this is the brown fig liner super super good love this liner um i fill in my whole lips with this and then it just leaves like beautiful lip color don't ever want to be without this if i run out i will definitely repurchase this so um i'm not even interested in other liners right now this is the liner this is the liner of my life right now we have um this primer i forgot to mention this smashbox one um it's pretty good it's gonna be on sale for ulta 21 days of beauty i might pick that up and um it doesn't keep my nose oils at bay but my forehead and around you know the rest of my face it does a pretty good job of keeping my oils away but eventually like maybe like five or six hours in you know i might have to blot but i don't know i've just been more oily these days and then i have a few lip glosses that i need to talk about so the first one on the end is the forget the filler by lawless super super good i wore this that one today if i have any pictures i'll throw it up on the screen then the casual ones just a nice milky nude that i want to keep in and then this peachy or pink one is absolutely to die for by chanel and it's in the shade seven is that 28 i think it's a 728 it's just like this peachy pink color super pretty i've worn it on camera and i just like how luscious and bright and beautiful my lips look still very pretty and nude um it's not like super bright so don't be scared of it so yeah those will absolutely be staying in for this um shop my stash i've been loving those three and then this um anastasia nicole guerrero palette i cannot put this down love it so much especially for the shade kitty cat and forever lit i did use forever young on my shoulders today when i wore a dress super beautiful and yeah that one has to stay in then we have some more blushes that i'm going to mention i can't put down this nars one everyday peachy pink color absolutely stunning so this one will be staying in i love it and we also have this other blush in the shade uh, Rose Initial by Chanel. This is a beautiful, like, purpley pink color. Um, I kind of want to say I almost like this more than my Dior one. Maybe I should put them to the test up against each other, but they give you that similar vibe. I'm ready to put back my ColourPop in Winks just for, um, just like Magic palette. I was going to say just for fun just like magics um beautiful colors um again if i didn't already put the colorful looks and stuff up i will put them on the screen but yeah i definitely enjoyed using every single one of these colors throughout the past few weeks so that one can go back into my collection putting away my new pat mcgrath um this is not it this is a project pan one this is the um moonlit seduction palette super beautiful used a lot of the shades the gray one is like my favorite shade of all time so i'm gonna go ahead and put this away um if i need to reach for a single or just something else i will but i do have a lot of pre-chosen items that i will go over with you guys so um let me show you everything that i pre-pulled and we will get into the nitty gritty <laughs> details this baby is heavy so let's get into it so, um, first thing first, I have this uh, Prism Libre Skin Caring Concealer by um, Givenchy, and this is in N95, that's the shade. I um, reviewed this in a Get Ready Room with me, trying this concealer and Project Pan Makeup. So if you want to hear me chit-chat a little bit and see me apply this in action, I do have a try-on video, um, but I would like to test this further. So this will be the concealer that I use for the week. And I'll show you the packaging. It's absolutely stunning. Love the details. Like, so pretty. Um, 
simplicity, but it's pretty nonetheless. So yeah, I like it a lot. And um, I liked it the one time underneath my eye. I was talking about the packaging in general. Um, I do want to try it out more to see how the formula is. And um, I did receive this um, half ounce of the Glossy Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. I want to see how this is on the face. Um, I don't know how it's going to do under makeup because I've been a little bit oily. But maybe the, this oil will counteract me from getting more oily. So we'll try that out. See how um, that is on the skin. And um, I haven't opened this quite yet. So let's see here. Super pretty. I might have to use this in a get ready with me. Let me pour a little on the hand. See how the texture is. Okay, so it's skin colored. I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, I'm not going to rub it in just because then I'm going to have like oil all over my hand and fingers and I have to swatch stuff. So let's not do that. Um, I guess we will do lips is on top. So let's do that. So for the first lip product, I would like to use this Dior lip gloss. Super, super pretty pink color. Per this is perfect for spring. And this is in the shade 553 Princess. I don't know if they're discontinuing this line. It smells so good. I can smell it from here. Oh, it smells just like marshmallow. I'm going to swatch this for you guys so you can see. I swatched it right there next to that um, primer. That's such a pretty pink color. I'm going to wear that over the top of my Pillow Talk lip liner. Let's keep it rolling with the lip glosses. I have uh, this full-on plumping lip polish in the shade what shade are you this is sandy so this is sandy by buxom pretty nude color let's swatch it next to our dior lip gloss and that's just like a nice peachy pink lip um gloss so cute so i'm excited to get more use on this one because this is a newer gloss in my collection i got it a few months ago and i only used it a few times a handful of times so next up is this um lip gloss by chanel it's a gold like clear with gold type of lip gloss and it's older and i would like to project pen it eventually so i'm going to put this in to get some more use on it and this is in the shade 712 so super excited to be using this one and i'll swatch it next to the why does it look green? <laughs> Do you see that? It looks green. That's weird. I'm going to have to wipe that. And there's like a hair on there. Um, yeah, that's a little weird. Um, but yeah, look at the color. Super pretty golden effect. So I'm going to use that after I clean the applicator off. One of my kids probably just had blue candy on their mouth or something. Not really sure what happened. Um, we have a few more lip glosses to go. Next up, we have this brownie nude warm color this is like my favorite out of my two tom ford lip glosses this is the tom ford gloss Lux brilliant in the shade 06 ravish sorry i don't have my glasses on i can't see um so i'm gonna swatch this like above and yeah there it is super pretty so i'm going to have fun using that one and then I have um, one more gloss and then like a look of lip balm. So this is another Tom Ford lip gloss and this more purpley pink shade. And this is in the shade 10 Love Lust. So I'm going to swatch that one. And yeah, that's so pretty. Very candy yum yum vibes, but I dig it. So we're going to use it. And here is the look of lip balm that I want to use a few times just because it was super expensive and I don't really ever use this product. Um, this is in the shade Nana. It's the Squeaky Clean Lico Lip Balm by Westman Atelier. And that will be pretty over any lip color as well. I can use it as a lip gloss because it has that beautiful shine. Super excited to be using this. Let's get into the two lip liners that I chose. So these are both by MAC. One is in the shade Strip Down, which is this one. I don't think my... Okay, there it goes. This is in the shade Strip Down, and I'll give you a swatch of this one. So there it is there. Just a neutral kind of brown color. So that one will be fun to get a little use on, just because I've only really been reaching for my Dior 
or my Charlotte Tilbury Paul Talk. So next up we have Oak, which is this other nudie color. And um, I would say it's more neutral. The other one has a little bit more warmth in it. So this is color to neutral type of brown. So I will give both of those a go and get a little use on those. Um, and then we have lipsticks. So I do have this um, Armani Power Bullet, whatever these things are called. These are called the Lip Powers. And this is in 104. And it's just like this nude color. So yeah, I will use this for the week. Um, let me swatch it over here. Super creamy. So there it is. There's like this color tone pink color. So I'll give that one a shot. And then I did pick out, um, I think it's two lipsticks and like a lip tinted lip balm. So let's start with the tinted lip balm. It's um, this red color right here. If I can focus on it. Um, it's just this pretty red color by Gucci. So I'm gonna swatch that for you over here. And yeah, it's like this orangey red color. And I don't know, I just want to get some use on that because this one's just been sitting for a while. I haven't reached for it in several months. So I'm going to use that one as well as this Dior one. And this is in the shade, what shade are you? 100 um, Nude Look. This is one of my favorite nudes. So yeah, that's super pretty. So yeah, I think this is going to go good with any lip liner that I chose. Um, yeah, super, super pretty. This one smells really good too. So um, yeah, that's a pretty brown nude color. Love it. So we're gonna use that Dior lipstick. And then I did pick out a Red by YSL. I still have the NARS one in, but um, I don't know. I just haven't been reaching for red lately, but this one right here by YSL is such a pretty red color. This is in the shade 01, it's their uh, I think it's called Rouge Per Couture. So I'm going to, this is a backup because um, I think I used up my last little mini I had of this red and it's such a stunning red. So I'm going to try to remember to use that one when I'm in the mood for it. And I think we can go ahead and move on into blushes. Um, let's start with the ones that are going to be in Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. Um, I have a lot of nude sticks ones and those are going to be in the cell, but I picked out these two that I got from one of the mini cells and haven't reached for these a lot. Sherry has less use on it, body language has more, but I just pulled for these two pinks. I have a whole bunch of other ones and different finishes and stuff like that, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch these and um, show you what these look like. So this um, one right here is potty language and it's like this um cooler tone pink color i think hillary duff either designed it or she had some kind of kit with it and the next one is this one called sherry and um it's just like this more purpley this more purpley toned one i can never get this thing to focus and i'll swatch it underneath the red lipstick and it's just a little bit slightly more mauve So, yeah, I thought those two would be good ones to use. Thinking about picking up the bronzer on Tuesday. Hopefully, I will have this video up um, by Tuesday, hopefully. And then the Persona blushes are also going to be on sale. I only own Caramel. I'm kind of curious to try out the other ones, but I'm going to wait. They'll probably be on sale in the fall. There are other blushes, like the Benefit ones that I really want and um, some by uh, Bare Minerals, I believe. So I'll probably pick up one or two of those instead of getting more Persona ones, just because I don't use this one enough to justify getting more. Um, but look at that color, isn't that so pretty? Oh, I might use that tomorrow. Mm. Over the top of any one of these um, new sticks blushes will be so pretty. So yeah, that one is going to get some use. And then um, the rest of the blushes aren't in the cell, but I did pick out a lot of blushes as you guys can see right there. So let's go ahead and keep on going. So let's finish off with the creams and then bounce back to the powders. Another Westman Atelier one that I love. 
Doodoo Dodo, favorite, one of my favorite cream blushes ever. Um, maybe I should do a top five cream blush video and tell you which shades are the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, that color has my heart. If you give me a purpley mauve nude color in any formula, especially cream, I am super happy. We have another one of those tones right here by Merit. And this is in the shade Cheeky. Love it. It is, again, that purpley mauve color that I love so much. Ugh. That color story just has my heart. And my makeup's falling off of my desk because I'm a klutz. And we're just going to keep rolling because that's just what type of channel I, I am. I did um, pre-choose a lot of MAC blushes. These aren't going to be in the cell, I don't think. Um, but I want to get use on them. So here is this cream to powder finish. And this is uh, their Glow, Glow Play Blush in So Natural. Is it Glow or Glow? Glow. Glow Play Blush in So Natural. So I will get my fingers dirty and swatch this. I much prefer a stick blush um, just because I don't like getting my fingers dirty. But isn't that such a nice neutral brown orangey peachy nude shade? Um, opposed to a lot of the nudes that I have swatched on my arm right now. That one's so pretty. And I have like major pen in it. So like why not use it? And then we will bounce um around to the nudes um and the powder formula so this is the only sparkly finish um one i think well no some of them have sparkle running out throughout it but this mac blush is super shiny this is the um extra dimension finish blush and fairly precious so again orangey pinky nudie color i like to use this one in the spring or winter time just because in the summer uh, i'm already just very shiny i don't want to look overly shiny and i don't have to wear highlight with that so yeah i think um the glow play blush and this one would actually look good pair together look how similar in tones those are so excited to use that one i'm actually going to swatch this elf one next to it just because they're in that family this is the elf blush in the shade um spice apple i like this one a lot in the fall so let me give this one a little swatchy roo and this one's more of a satin matte type of finish and i would say it's more brown and neutral compared to the glow play blush so this is a good nice powder from them the highlight always has been so deep for me so i don't know if i'm going to use that this go around i'll swatch it and just see if i'd like to give it a go but now it's looking a little too bronzy but it could be used like as a blush topper and whatnot i have it on my thumb there but yeah, um, I hardly ever reach for these, but when I do, I love it. I've gotten rid of all of my other blushes but that one. So, that tells me I like that color. Then we'll do this more brownie um, nude compared to the other ones that are pinky. Um, this is in the shade Lovejoy, and this is their Mineralize Blush. So, it's going to have some like sheen to it. And I will swatch it for you. And... It has more of a, like a red brown um, pinkiness to it, so it's not all the way orange. So yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And um, my little cousin, I seen her today, and she was like wearing like a lot of blush, and I was asking her what she was wearing. She said it was a Mac one that she would send me a picture of it later, and she kind of contoured with it. So maybe I might do that with some of these Mac blushes. Um, and. Then we have this one right here that I don't get a lot of use out of. It's in the shade Peachy Can. So, yeah, let's try this one out. And this one is a sh Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. So I'm going to swatch that one. I'm running out of space to swatch, but we're going to keep on going. And this one has more of a mauve reddish tone to it. So, yeah, um, I think it will go good with any of these blushes right there. So... I'm going to have to mix and match those blushes, but this one looks like it's going to be a super pretty one. I don't get a lot of use out of that one. And then one that I love a lot that's kind of like in that Dior um, family is this one right here. And it is Dainty Mineralized Skin um, Mineralized Blush by MAC. So let me give this one a good swatch and put it on the end. And the I know this is like 
a million and one blushes, but um, I've been busy with like work and family and other stuff like that. And I do like to slow fill my shop my stash weekly makeup basket videos, but um, sometimes I don't get around to doing it right away. Um, even though you guys see it about seven days apart, maybe 10 days apart. So yeah, I'm just gonna give myself time to be able to use all these products and I'll come back around and try to film it again. Um, you know, within that week to two week period, period, and come back and tell you um, what I use and what I did and what I love and stuff. But that's besides the point. I don't think you guys really care if I'm doing it weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. I will definitely try to stay closer to that one to two week period but yeah i'm just giving myself lots of time to enjoy this but anyways this is a Too faced blush perfect for that spring moment and this is their Too femme blush and uh, butterfly base or babe yeah it says babe i thought it said base i cannot see and it's this beautiful print right here um it had like an overspray i think i'm working through it and it's like this warm color so yeah it's like a pinky one color i'm gonna swatch it right there i think it'll go good over the glow play blush so it's this last one right there and uh, it was hard to get that in frame and i think i have um one more powder blush and we'll get into i mean one more powder blush and then we'll get into eyeshadow villains ursula i love it i wore this one a ton in the fall it's a nipple type blush and i really like the color that it is so i'm going to go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand i think that makes the most sense so here is what that looks like isn't that such a pretty color i mean similar to some of the warmer tones that i have but a girl knows what she likes so we're gonna pull that one and I don't know how I'm gonna make this all fit, but we will. Then I decided to pull out some of my eyeshadow palettes that have green in it for St. Patty's Day. So um, I don't know if this is going on before or after, depending on when I um, edit this video. But this green one is just calling my name by Pat McGrath. And I can also dip into some of the other colors, just, you know, for fun or whatever. And then I have this other Pat McGrath palette that I would like to use. Very springy colors, lots of purples and pinks and warm colors. So this palette right here is the Heatopian Dreams. And isn't this shade so gorgeous? Yes. Gonna use that for sure. And then I wanna pull out an older palette right here. If you have it, you should pull it out too. This is the Elf and Jake Kessa to the Rescue palette. I still have like my stickers in there. And here are the colors. Definitely want to use the greens. If I dip into the other ones, then that's cool too. But we're going to give this one some love. And then I'll just swatch this green one right here. Um, since we are pulling some of our shades for our St. Patty's um, day. So yeah, <laughs> it's hard to focus, but it's, it's there. And then I pulled out another palette that has greens in it. And it's this one. If you have it, you should also pull it out. I know a lot of us got it like in Ipsy and Boxy Charm. So by the boss, all of you forever. Some of the shades aren't very good. Like I believe it was this shade, not very good. Um, maybe that shade, I don't remember. But I know these greens are nice. So I will use those more olivey, silvery type greens. And I will swatch this one right here. And yeah isn't that such a pretty olivey gray green color so pretty so i have i think one more palette that i pulled out that i want to be able to use and it is this one right here newer natasha Nona retro glam i got this when it came out in the fall and i hit pan in one of the green shades so um that's good here's this one more of like a bluish green very retro-ish but there it is there so i thought i can do some cute looks with that and just have fun focus on that those products and when i feel i got a lot of use out of the stuff i will come back to you guys and let you know what i think but we have lots of colors and goodies to choose from i think i'm gonna have a lot of fun 
creating like beautiful looks so excited to use a lot of stuff that i already have a lot of stuff that's been neglected um let me know what you guys are pulling for your shop my stash hope you guys have an amazing blessed day or night wherever you are don't forget to like and subscribe because i do post my shop my stash weekly makeup baskets pretty much almost every week <laughs> and you don't want to miss out on that and other videos that i post because i do post a lot of other makeup related videos so um, until next time, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.